Hi everyone, so in this video right here, I'm going to discuss the Shape Builder tool, which is one of my favorite tools within Illustrator. So basically, what you can do with the Shape Builder tool is to trim shapes and to combine shapes. So let's just get down to it. And if you can see on my artboard right here, I have two shapes here. And what we can do is then we're just going to duplicate them first. And if I overlap them both, and as you can see right now, they are two different shapes. And we can actually create a new shape out of these overlapping shapes right here. So to do that, you just simply select them both and press Shift M to activate the Shape Builder tool. And as you can see, I am on Shape Builder tool right now because if you hover over the parts of the overlapping shapes, you can see that it makes a dotted pattern right here. So that means you are in Shape Builder mode. So what I can do then is I can just drag along on these two shapes right here, as you can see, and just release it. The two previous shapes are now combined. And if we select it, you can see that it has one bounding box right here, meaning this is considered as one path or one shape. So I can then scale it now by holding on this corner right here and just dragging it. Or I can rotate it by just hovering outside of this corner right here. And you, as you can see my icon, it's in rotate mode. So I can just rotate it like so. And scale it down again. And that's how you combine shapes using the Shape Builder tool. Now we can actually create more shapes using the Shape Builder tool either by trimming some parts or removing some parts from overlapping shapes. So let's just move this guy to the side right here. So we're just going to bring down these two guys right here. And I'm just going to overlap them again and select them both. And I'm just going to access the Shape Builder tool again by pressing Shift M on my keyboard. As you see, I'm in Shape Builder mode. and what I can do then is I can remove this intersecting area right here but this time I'm gonna press Alt key on my keyboard and as you can see my mouse cursor has turned into trim mode okay so I'll just drag along here while pressing Alt and then I just release my left mouse button and as you can see we've actually created a hole upon the overlying shapes right here and we can actually start to create different kind of holes for different kind of shapes so let's just move this again right here and let's say you have a rounded rectangle there and you want to put a hole in it you can just go to the shape panel here and just choose the shape you like so we're just gonna choose the rectangle tool right here and I'm just gonna draw it here and now I can use the shape to punch a hole in this rounded rectangle we have right here so I'm just gonna select them both and I'm just gonna press shift M again to access shape builder tool and as you can see we are in shape builder tool again and I'm just gonna hover to this part and I'm just gonna press alt and just click on it or drag in this area right here so now what will happen is this area right here will be removed you can also draw your own shapes and use them to punch holes in your shapes so I'm just drawing a random shape right here and I'm gonna use this shape to put a hole in our rounded rectangle. So I'm just gonna select both again, press Shift M again, and then press Alt and click on this area right here. And at the same time, you can actually add more shapes to the shapes you have created here. So I'm just gonna create the shape right here. And let's just move this closer like so. And we're gonna select them all. And I'll just use the Shape Builder tool again. But this time we're gonna add or combine these new shapes right here to our previous artwork. And as you can see, we were able to create complex shapes based from the default shapes we have within Illustrator. And by just using the Shape Builder tool, we were able to make holes and even combine new shapes to our current artwork. And that's basically it. So all you have to do is just lay out your shapes and make sure they are overlapping like so. I'm just going to make a simple cloud here. As you can see, I'm not even using the pen tool to create my shapes. We were able to create new shapes just by using default shapes that Illustrator provides. So I'm just going to select them all again and I can press Shift M again. And this time, while I drag right here, you see I cannot go over all the shapes at once. So I'm just going to press Shift to turn this dragging tool right here 
into a sort of a marquee. So as you see, if I press shift, I will be able to convert my dragging line into a marquee selection tool. Then I'm just gonna release my left mouse button to combine them all. And you can still add new shapes right here. And if you're not happy with your initial shape, you can just add more circles right what I'm doing here. Select them all again, and then use the Shape Builder tool again. And again, we can use the Shift key again to turn our line into a marquee right here. And just release the mouse button. So these are some clever ways on how to use the Shape Builder tool. And I hope you can implement them now into your game creation process.